I've had a few pages and posts that did not work very well together with the Divi static CSS file cache. But I don't want to turn it off for my entire site because this would be bad for my page speed. So I found a way to disable the Divi cache on specific pages and posts. Here is how it's done. You are probably already familiar with this view. So this is the Divi theme options in the tab Builder and Advanced. So this is where you can disable static CSS file generation for your entire website globally. So this goes for all pages, posts, archive pages, etc. But what if you would like to do this for a single page or a single post? Well, then we have to leave the theme options and go to that specific page and enable the visual builder from here i'll go to the bottom and i'll click the purple circle here to expand the menu and i'll click the cog wheel and uh, here i have some page settings and i think this is a many times overlooked feature in divi that you can um, Add some settings here, some featured image, excerpt, background, split testing. You have design options like spacing and text options for the entire page. And also in advanced, you can add custom CSS, visibility settings, position settings for the entire page. But you also have the tab performance. So let's go into that one. And we have just one option here, and that is that we can disable the static CSS file generation. And if we click the question mark, you can see that when this option is enabled, and it is by default for all pages and posts, the builder's inline CSS styles for this page will be cached and served as a static file. Enabling this option can improve performance. But if you have a page that's messy and have some conflicts with uh, this feature, you can turn it off just like this with one click. We'll close this one and we'll save and you're all set. Now you won't have the static CSS file generated for this specific page. And you can do this for posts or any other post type like products. If you're using the backend editor with Divi, if you have the classic editor enabled, you'll find this setting in a different place. Then you can see the cogwheel up to the right in the purple top bar. You click the page settings and now you have the same options as before. So you can just go to advanced performance and then you have the options here and it's still turned off of course because i saved my changes last time that's all for today feel free to like and comment this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials coming your way thanks for watching